All right, all right, we are back. We are back. Today is 17 January 2022. See a red, a see a red except for Ada. Oh, Litecoin's up. All right. Uh, 42,200 Bitcoin, 3,200 ETH. Uh, today's uh, video, let's just get into Ethereum. There is an article out there. Is mining no longer profitable for Ethereum? Uh, let's just cut to the chase. Based on everything red, the concern is with the declining price in Ethereum, it won't be as profitable as it was from early last year, 2021 through now. And uh, people won't be buying equipment. They're concerned. Ethereum going to proof of stake. What's the next coin to mine? That are Those are valid concerns. On the flip side, I hear some uh, OG guys who've been around for a while. I've been around for a while doing buying crypto. I've only started mining end of September 2021. So I'm pretty new to the mining stuff, but I'm going through the jungle, learning as I go. I don't know what I don't know. And the community is awesome. You learn from everybody and it's great. Um, but yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. So let's go through this and see what her point of view. It's Kim Lee from, I don't know, what is this site? D D1 Softball News. All these little articles pop up. It's pretty interesting what I find. Okay, the profitability of Ethereum mining is now on the decline for several months. Correct. The decline in the profitability of Ethereum mining after peaking in mid-May 2021, right? When it reached as high as 28 cents per day per mega hash. It dropped to uh, five, cent, 5 cents between June and July, but then seemed to have recovered to nearly nine, uh, 9 cents per day in November. All right. All right, those are good numbers to know. Yeah, I... I've heard from the uh, the guys that have been around. They did really well from May on. It was just profit, 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 yum, 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 right? Since then, however, a long decline has begun, which has brought it back up to the current five cents per day per mega hash. Seen in this way, this would seem to all intents and purposes, hey, someone used that right, a downward trend triggered after the peak of mid May 2021, but it is enough to go back a little further in time to understand that it's not all. It, that it is not true at all. In fact, if on the one hand, the downward trend is clear, especially from November onwards, with a loss of 45% of the profitability of mining in the face of a 33% drop in the price of ETH, in the long term trends, uh, in the long term, the trend uh, changes aspect. Okay. I don't know. I'm buying it. My philosophy is keep mining, keep stacking coins as long as you can, because you got two things here. You're mining and you're you're getting coins, right? You're getting, you're creating value. You're creating value. And say you buy these coins, you're buying them and you're getting a payout at, at the market value is $3,000 per coin. Say you mine one ETH at 3,000. You still have the whales stacking coins. They're still accumulating right now. Uh, financial institutions are accumulating for their clients. Why would they be doing that? Because the price is low. What does that mean? They believe it's going to go up. I kind of believe it's going to go up. So if you accumulated at 3,000 and the thing goes to 10,000, that's pretty good profit. So it's almost like, even though it's dropping and all that stuff, it's like when there's fear in the streets, when you got that um, crypto fear and greed index and it's bad and it's low, man, maybe that's when you consider buying. Because uh, I think Warren Buffett said that when there's fear in the streets is when you should be buying. Everyone's selling and freaking out. You're just like, hey, I'm going to get that at, on sale. Boom. A few months later, a year later, the thing's uh, up to 10000 bucks per ETH. You're like, yeah, that was a good move. I just paid off all my equipment. You don't know. You just don't know. It's all right now kind of a hunch, speculation. But I don't know. I just see what the market's doing, the winds are doing, and people seem to be buying, even though even though the fear and greed index is down about 30 or 20 Oh my gosh, I got someone from Maryland calling me. Yuck. Don't ever go to Maryland, folks. Don't ever live there. I lived there for a while. Horrible place. All right, let's go. All right. Let's see. She's taking the last month, uh, 2020, as a reference when the 2021 bull run had not yet started. Profitability has since increased 66% as it has gone from three cents to the current five cents mega hash per day. However, the downward trend could continue further especially if the price of ETH does not rise significantly over the next few months. Yeah, we've been kind of holding about the low 3,000s for a while, but you don't know what's going to happen. Nobody knew it was going to go 
down to 3,000. Everyone's riding high about 4,000 plus, right? Nobody knows. Come on. All right, the rise of the Hiram hash rate. The uh, key issue here is the rise in hash rate, which has not only been almost constant since the end of June 2021, but which uh, does not seem to want to stop. Indeed, it is likely that it will continue in the next few weeks, perhaps right until the profitability of mining has fallen again to around three cents per day per mega hash. All right, after the collapse of May 2021 due to the crypto mining ban in China, the Ethereum hash rate has started to rise again, passing from the then 480 terahash to the current 970. Nice. Uh, note that this is a specific period, hash rate increased 102%, while ETH price increased by 77%. This could suggest that the hash rate is not destined to uh, increase further if the price does not rise, but always taken the last month of 2020 as a reference to scenario changes. All right, back then, your Ethereum hash rate was on 290 terahash. So to date, it has grown by 234%. All right. The price of ETH, on the other hand, grew by 433%. I like the numbers, so it is definitely possible that the hash rate could grow further. Also, by virtue of the fact that the profitability of five cents per day remains attractive for the entry of any new miners. All right. Therefore, currently, Ethereum mining continues to be profitable. Therefore, currently, Ethereum mining continues to be profitable, although not as in the past few months, but in the coming months, its profitability could drop considerably especially if the price of ETH does not rise. That's a valid point. That is a very valid point. And that is why I've been buying CPUs. And that is why I've kind of been buying cheaper cards. If I see a card under $550, that's my sweet spot. I may buy it. And uh, I don't want to get any more of these big cards for $1,800. That's ridiculous. You'll never get your money back. And will they sell? I don't know if an LH card is going to even sell in the future. So I might have some nice paperweights if mining goes away or it's not profitable. But the philosophy there, having said that, is just keep mining, keep collecting coins. You're kind of speculating, you're kind of stacking coins. You don't know, they can go up, it can go to zero, it can go up, it can go sideways, and it could go backwards. <laughs> so there, I'm showing you how stupid it is to predict pricing. You just don't know. You either believe in it or you don't. All right, this is the end paragraph, guys. Sorry for torturing you in seven, eight minutes in almost. The transition to POS, proof of stake. Then there is another unknown. Dun, dun, dun. All right. With the future shift from proof of work to proof of stake. Get to know those acronyms. Pow, 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 pow. And uh, POS, ETH, in fact, it can no longer be undermined since the POS does not foresee the presence of miners to validate the blocks. But having worked in software, having been given deadlines and uh, major feature changes, major functionality changes, they give you this date, say, uh, we need this in six months. Uh, now add a year to it. It's just not possible. You got, you got staff changes, you got egos, you got resource issues, you got other bugs pop up. Uh, unless you have a ded dedicated team that marches forward and um, I'm getting getting dinged on. Uh, unless you have a dedicated marching forward doing the new features and have a support development team fielding bugs and enhance um, um, maintenance level stuff, it's going to be hard to move. You got to have everyone moving on new stuff because once stuff is fielded, it's very hard to keep adding in new features while keeping the current situation operational. It's just the way it is. Oh my gosh. All right, this could lead many miners not to invest further in new machinery based on the POS, right? More uh, more powerful and to, uh, all right. The point is, they're saying if it goes to POS, this fact alone on Ethereum could lead many miners not to invest further in any new machinery and it makes it a stronger position like not gonna mine any more GPUs. That may be the case, I don't know. I still see some other guys on YouTube getting boxes of GPUs in. I'm just like, wow, <laughs> all right. That's a lot of money, that's a lot of investment. Uh, so you never know what's going to happen. Do what you find is worth it. I mean, if you, one goal like I had was to get to one giga hash, and I did. I got a little bit over one giga hash. I'm happy with it. I may hold there for a while till I start recouping some of my uh, my investment. 
Uh, I hope I do. But um, we need the price to go up a bit for that to happen. And I'm hoping on an Ethereum to go up to like, say, seven, 8,000. And boom, I should be able to pay all this crap off real quick. Okay, let's go. Uh, what's going on? Tell the truth. If this dynamic were already underway, we should see a slowdown in the growth of the hash rate. But this is instead remaining rather constant. So it's really not affecting people yet. People are mining till they drop, I guess. The fact of not knowing the date of the uh, definitive passage of the POS, right? Again, as I said, nobody knows. They say they're going to do it in June or July, whatever. I, I don't know. You never know, especially with development. You never know. And the past history made up of continuous postponements of this epical transition could lead many miners to ignore the problem or at least for now. Yeah. And I speak from experience. It's going to be delayed. It's going to be delayed. It's going to be delayed. And even if it comes out, it may come out in beta. I don't know how it's going to work. It's going to take some time to transition from um, getting it to work in beta and then testing and testing. I don't see them just dumping this out there. They got to test, test, test. But if it's like Microsoft, they'll just release it and then patch it, right? I don't know. Release and patch. All right. For sure, this is not the best time to start mining on Ethereum. Eh. Well, instead, for example, as regards Bitcoin, it could be based on the political winds and stuff that's happening overseas. However, from this point of view, the future of the two main cryptocurrencies in the world should soon separate. Given that if Ethereum switches to proof of stake, Bitcoin will continue with proof of work. Wham! There you go, guys. There you go. It's almost the same thing. She says, currently, Ethereum mining continues to be profitable. Yes. And then, is it the best time to start mining Ethereum? But if it's profitable, I guess, you don't want to be out there dropping 2000 plus, plus dollars on a 3080 non-LHR card used, which you see on eBay, eBay right now. So I'm like, nah, come on. That's ridiculous, guys. Uh, it's like anything, there's, there's cycles. Wait till the market goes into a bear phase for crypto mining, and hopefully you'll be able to pick up some uh, GPUs and or CPUs at least at MSRP or below. <laughs> um, yeah, drop in two, two plus thousand on a 38 non LHR, that seems crazy. And a 3090 for, I don't know, those are high 2Ks right now. It's not worth it. The amount of power, the no, I don't know. Just It's just a big brick. It's just a big toy. Don't get it. I'd rather buy a bunch of little 1660 Supers or 6600 uh, XTs or something like that. That's just me. I may be wrong. Uh, do your own research, right? That should be the name of this channel. Just do your own research. Don't even watch YouTube. Do your own research. Get the information from people. Consume it. Spit it out. Digest it. Whatever. Do what you got to do. Get ideas in your head. And that, that's basically how it works. It's kind of brainstorming. You listen to other people on YouTube or other channels or read articles on that. And you just look at it. And that gives you something to think about. And you can just say, nah. Like one was the ASICs. I looked into ASIC machines. And I, after about an hour or two of research... Not for me. Too many questions. Too many ifs. Not going to, you know, just, I just backed off it. and just said, not for me. Not for me. Um, it may change, but right now it just didn't feel good. It just wasn't my, my spidey sense said, no, don't do it. All right. Okay, guys. So there you have it. Ethereum is mining no longer profitable. And right now it is profitable as she states in this article. Nobody knows what's going to happen with Ethereum, but there's going to be a backfill from other coins that you can mine with GPUs. I do like the CPU mining, that it's actually doable right now because they um, cost a bit less, they take a little bit less energy, and they give off a lot less heat. <laughs> so I hope CPU mining becomes the go-to. I would prefer that. But right now, GPU, CPU mining, check it out. Keep going, keep going strong, and don't spend too much money on the hardware. Look at it, try to get a deal. Don't pay over scalp, like over MSRP scalper prices. Go to my Discord. I have an in-stock alerts on what's popping up lately. A lot of 6600s, some 1660 Supers have been popping up. Like for me, a 6600 XT under 500, 550 bucks is reasonable, but you gotta add in sales tax, which is torture and maybe shipping depends where you're getting it from amazon or newegg or best buy or whatever so do your own research don't go broke buying the hardware um, find hardware you have in your house and just start mining 
All right, guys, I am out. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, there you go. All right, take.